Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, we are gonna be talking about how you can use Obsidian Git Comity plugin in order to back up your vault with GitHub. Previously, I was using the GitHub desktop app, which had a lot of manual work. I had to open the GitHub desktop app, I had to commit the changes, and then I had to publish the changes to repository. And this was a time consuming task. Recently, I reset my PC and I had to do all of that again. I found a better way to back up my Obsidian Vault with GitHub and that is by using the Obsidian Git plugin. It automatically backups your Vault at a certain interval and it saves a lot of time because you don't have to uh, do all of that manual work. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Obsidian Git plugin in order to back up your Vault. So let's begin the tutorial without any delay. Uh, let me go to my computer screen and show you how it's done. Install the plugin called as Obsidian Git first. For that, I'll need to go to settings, go to Comity plugins, go to browse and search for git here. And you can see this is the plugin that I was talking about, Obsidian Git. Back up your vault with git. It is a plugin that allows you to back up your Obsidian vault to remote git repository. Now click on enable this plugin and if you go to option, you will see that the git backup settings, git is not ready. When all settings are correct, you can configure auto backup. So first thing that we need to make this git ready is to install the git software and then we need to install github desktop app in order to configure our plugin first i'll just search for git over here and it will take me to this website git dash scm and you will see the download option you can download it for windows from here i have already downloaded it so i'll not show you here and the another software that i was talking about is github desktop app if you search for GitHub desktop in Google, you will see this GitHub desktop sim simple collaboration from your desktop and download this app from here. Download for Windows 64 bit. I have already downloaded it. So I'll just go to my explorer over here, go to downloads. Here I have the GitHub desktop setup app and Git app. I'll just double click on Git and it will start the installation process. Click on yes and just keep on clicking yes over here. You don't need to do anything. You don't need to change anything. I just click on next and install. Here we have completed the git setup wizard. I'll just uncheck the view release nodes and click on finish. Now we have installed git. Now we need to install github desktop app in order to create repository inside our hard drive and publish that repository in our github account. And here github desktop app is being installed. It will launch once it is done. Once you have installed the GitHub desktop app, you will see an option to log into your account. If you have not logged in already, you will need to log in first. And once you have logged in, you will need to create a new repository on your hard drive. And I will change the location to the folder where my second brain vault is located. I'll just create a new folder over here, which is called test. And I'll just select this folder and I'll just test name the folder test and I'll create repository over here. I'll not publish this repository right now because I'll need to move these files that are git files inside my second brain vault. For that, I'll just need to go to this vault, go to this repository that we have created right now that is inside our second brain vault that is test vault. And I'll just need to move these two files. Right now, there is only one file because I have not enabled the option to view hidden files. So for that, you'll, ne you'll just need to click on view over here click on show, click on hidden items and you will see two files, two fo one folder and one file over here. Well, the first one is .git folder and the second one is .git attributes file. I'll just need to, I'll copy these files from here and I'll move them inside my second brain folder. I'll just paste them here. Now if I go back to github desktop, you can see it will say can't find the test folder and I'll click on locate over here and I will select the location to my second brain. Click on select folder and you will see it will show all the files that I have in my second world, second brain. So I'll just commit these to main. Depending on the files you have in your vault or in your folder, it will take some time to make commit. And once all of these changes are committed, you will need to publish this repository. Click on publish this repository and just name, I'll just name it my second brain. If you want to keep all of these, all of the nodes in your vault private, 
you can just check this option but if you want others to see these notes as well you can uncheck this option so i'll click on publish repository and it will be published to my github account online now if i go to my browser and go to my github account i can see that this folder that is my second brain folder will be published on my account and you can see here there is the option to see my second brain folder and if i open this you can see it has been changed one minute ago which means it has recently been updated now let me just refresh this again and you can see all of the changes has been done one minute ago in this folder and this folder is private as well you can see on the top here which means no one can see this uh, folder besides me so at least i'll just click on exit over here and you can still see here that the git is not ready because we have not reloaded our vault so i'll just click on command palette or i'll just close this vault and reload obsidian and let's go to settings let's go to obsidian git over here and now you can see git backup settings are ready and you can choose the vault backup intervals let's just write it two minutes the vault will be backed up every two minutes or you can just turn on the option to back up your vault after every file change which means whenever you write something on your vault whenever you change anything in your notes it will be backed up directly to your online repository and there are other options as well here you can also back up your vault by using command palette that is search for git on command palette and you can just pull push and uh, see all these options over here obsidian git right this is how you can easily automatically back up your obsidian vault with github by using obsidian git plugin i hope you found this video helpful and this video added value to your workflow if you found this video helpful please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because i'll be coming with more obsidian related content in the future thank you for watching have a great day bye bye